love Auckland. Gotta love Auckland. Traffic is uh, just heating up. That's uh, getting good. Get bumper to bumper at 80 k's, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, I sort of carry on what I was saying earlier on at my place. I sort of just got a bit sidetracked, but got to go see a potential new sponsor, a couple new sponsors potentially. Um, so it'd be cool if I could secure something there. Um, because at the moment we're looking a little bit, a little bit scarce on the uh, sponsorship front of funds uh, due to a few um, unfortunate circumstances. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to push through and get the car as close as we can to running. And yeah, we've done. Um, it's a bit of a backup plan in, in order, but. So don't really want to rely on that just yet. Um, but yeah, picking up the motor today, so that's cool. Um, and I'll show you guys once I get there and once it's all loaded up. And yeah, pretty cool. Uh, turbo, let's see. And then manifold got sent. My intake manifold got sent from uh, Wellington a couple days ago. Or yeah, by Ruben, Ruben Bemrose, one of the hardest men to work with. Uh, I'll tell you, he's got an excuse for everything. <laughs> busy man, everyone's busy. It's just COVID, eh? Um, and gearbox as well. Another thing that we're just waiting to waiting for that to turn up because I actually sold my TTI um, soon after, not soon after, probably like mid last year after the season finished and stuff. Uh, looked at going, uh, looked at going to another brand. But um, I've decided to stick with TTI. Um, just working out with them now and looking at upgrading to the new H uh, H HXD five-speed that I've got. The Drift Series one, the, the heavier duty one, bigger gears and um, better bearings. So we're real excited to get your hands on that. I thought about going down the route of um, a four-speed, um, but just, I don't know, a few, th a few more things needed changing, and I don't know, that was sort of gonna work out slightly more expensive, so I just didn't really, didn't really venture down that route too much. Then I had to cut my tunnel up and change my mounts and drive shaft, and hopefully I'll just be able to bolt this box to the 2J. Uh, I've just spoiled it. <laughs> bolt it to the new motor, bolt it up to the new motor, and yeah, should just be able to work with my drive shaft because I have a slip yoke in my drive shaft. So yeah, all's going to plan. It's going to be it's going to be a weapon of a build. Can't wait for it. Can't wait just to get it right up onto that top RPM where Brian loves where I drive drive it at. Anyway, let's carry on. Heard the courier driver turn up. I know what this is. Ruben, mate, she's. I think. I think she's finally. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this man. The old intake manifold from Hypertron Australia. Nah, Hypertron. Oh. Love it when parts start showing up, man. I've, I've, I've been having my doubts. Still waiting on rocker covers and turbo and a few other little things. Where do I do this? Whoa. Okay, I need to go get a knife. That's what I need to do. Start. That's when you need like a third hand though. This um this bit of kit here wasn't really in the budget to begin with, alongside a few other little things on the motor that I'll show you later, but 
Um, I didn't really want to cheap out on this, so might as well spend the money while we can. Do it once, do it right. Yeah, bugger. It's so wrapped up. What have we got here? Throttle body. E throttle. That's the that's our buzz now. I don't know, I need to put this down for a sec. <whistles> yeah, boy. Oh, that looks good, eh? Oh, wait, hold on. No, wrong side. Yeah, that way, eh? Ah, gotcha. That's, um, that's pretty amazing, then. Look at that, if you can see in there. <whistles> Worksmanship in that is pretty... Oh shit. Pretty on. And then that... If we move this box out of the way... Ta-da! <laughs> That's what it is. And this is the start of something special. Damn. And then, oh yeah, this is going to be good, man. I'm like looking forward to this. E throttle as well, which I haven't unpacked yet. But plan is starting to come together. Cheers, Ruben. And um, cheers, Brian and Taylor's Automotive up in Auckland. Brian assembled the, the head and the block for me. Um, and his workshop, cam belt, front covers, all that, sump on. I don't know, I can't remember if he did the sump or not, but um, I know he has, he's done the sump, uh, Tomei, Tomei baffle kit in the, in the bottom of it as well. Um, just drop in, bolt in, jobby. And Calford cams as well in the head. It's not ported or polished or anything, it's just, um, it's been checked over. And um, yeah, everything's been redone, valves, springs, and then yeah, I'll do a bit of a rundown on it once it's all sort of out and about and in the car, but it's um, definitely going to be a bit of a weapon, eh? New Rand Industries alternator to go with the, um, the front pulley bracket as well. Today's a good day, hey Jax. Okay, We're on. First load. Smoky boys. <laughs> Didn't think we were. That's on. Stack, bro. Come get your tyres while you can. <laughs> One day. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Feel sorry for Jax. I'm gonna about to wreck his buddy garage space. A lot of shit. Shh, ready? Shh. Freshly painted floors about to get a stack load of rubber on it. Young girl. Oh, G not. Oh, I can't wait to get that in the bloody motor. And the and the and the engine. In the engine bay. Let's just have a look at this though. Not and not as cool. Cheeky 30. Oh, look at that. Matches the car too. Should have just run this motor. Pipe tune. Man, what have we got on this side? Oh. Stop it. Just pull the whole thing off, bro. I don't want to get everyone too excited, do I? That's your motor, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I mean, shit. Oh. Brandon's sweet little cage that he's donated us for the trip. 
It all stayed on, so that was the main thing. I think we've got like 120 tyres in here, inside the ute. Back seat as well. Stacked. Got so many funny looks on the way home. All right, a bit of help. Ooh, what's up? We've um, just had, had word from Andre Seinrotter. Sort of been a bit slack on the updates. Um, he's down in a shop at the moment. It's um, almost closing, or it's pretty much his closing time. He's just quickly said to shoot the car down to him. But the only, the only thing is the process of just, you know, driving it down or, you know, chucking on the trailer. We've got to tow it out of here, up out of here, up the driveway, get it on the trailer, load it up. But um, the last few days I've been um, going through all the design work with my um, design guy, Brad, FP Design. I really should have been filming it. Um, it would have been quite cool. Um, I might I might show you guys a few of the, a few of the ideas later on 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 the computer but um, you'll see it you'll see it pretty quickly on the car sooner or later and we've just um, we've just been given notice that uh, the media day that we we're meant to be all going to this Friday has been cancelled or postponed alongside um, the first and second round so um, I'll just put this down here so now we've got a bit of time up our sleeves so Low key stoked because I had so much stuff to do. Um, yeah, uh, getting the whole had to get all the, um, the signage printed uh, at one of Andre's buddies in Tauranga. So that could probably be a bit shorter actually. So we had to send all the all the all the underlay away first, the all the flame work of the livery. And the main logo to get printed first. So, and then we're going to print all the stickers afterwards. Sorry about the choice mm -hmm. filming, guys, but I'm just in a bit of a rush. The old man's coming around now to give us a hand, tow it out, and then just got to get the trailer all hooked up and sort it out. Nine times out of ten, if I ever got stuff done with Andre, I would just drive the car down because he's literally just down the industrials behind me and it's just as easy as just up and out and down. So it's a bit of a different, but different this time. Still no motor, oh, still no engine mounts. That's my life story at the moment. I've been waiting on this fella to be building, to do my engine mounts, to put the um, motor in the car and it's holding me up. Can't um, get any fab work done. Can't get my wiring measured up to, get ordered, I can't, you know, like, can't start plumbing fuel set up up and stuff, like it's, you know, it'll, 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 it pays to have everyone, everyone in check and, you know, like, it's, it's, as soon as one person lets up, it's just like in building, if, um, if us builders, if we forget to do something, or if we, if we get held up because the materials aren't there, you know, it puts the sparky out, it puts bloody everyone out, so, yeah, it's just that time of the year when it's hectic and super busy and you just can't do anything about it. Ooh. There we go. Sweet as. Come on, Dad, where are we? Where are you? Just in time. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> this is Paul, this is his father. Uh, hello. This is Dad. Hello. See who I'm speaking to. No, this is this is for the vlog. Oh, the vlog. Hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just oh, saying. Don't say fuck off. <laughs> no, don't, don't be saying that. I love that vlog. Okay, let's Wait. get let's get this out of here. I mean, <laughs> sweet as. Yep, come back. Yep. There we go. Stranger from the field. Which way?
Come on. Dig deep. Dig deep. <laughs> Dig deep. That's all. That's all. Ah, oh, the strops. The, the strops are loaded. Let's go. And we dropped off. Oh, scanning. Thing done. Where did he go? Just dropped the car off Andre. And um, we've actually got a bit of time up our sleeves now. Um, with the whole postpone, this postponing of the media day and um, media day and the first couple rounds. So, bit of a blessing in disguise. So, yeah. I'm um, going to have to be coming down and give Andre a few hands if he needs to put on this um, under level of flames. and. So we'll hopefully keep you posted in the next few days. I was actually out of gas for the first time in a while. Um, and no, this is not all the tyres, obviously, because <coughs> oh, COVID. Uh, my buddy Jax is kindly off to store the rest of them at his place. Um, thank you so much, Signova. Uh, these guys and Zoo, Zoo Performance. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolute lifesavers. I, I was um, I was in a bit of a hole to be honest um, with the 2022 season. A um, few things not really panning out the way that we thought it would, they would have happened. So oh, I can't, honestly can't thank these guys enough for um, jumping on board this year, man. Um, Carlos and Brandon and bloody Mars and Mike from. Uh, Fritz, now, um, now, uh, Rogue, the boys, um, boys did a real good job with assisting me as much as they could last year, even at the D1 rounds, oh, um, when they were tyre tire changing with their mobile tyre machine in their van, in their truck, they would always sort of help, help me out when I, when I was in need and pushed me up the line a couple of times and I needed tyres changed and yeah, they've um, on a bit of a new adventure now with um, their bike shop and potentially, um, yeah, a bit of importing as well. I think they're importing bikes now too. You got there, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, I think. Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, yeah, thirteen. I did drop out of school but Still the mathematician.